What video game do you wish you could experience again for the first time? Skyrim. I've played it so much at this point that it bores me to death now. But when I first played it I was obsessed for hundreds of hours. Portal. You can only solve those puzzles for the first time, once. GLaDOS's dialogue never gets old though. And Portal 2. The original Pokémon games on Nintendo Game Boy Pokémon was a whole new world to explore all on my own. Completely foreign mechanics. No guides. Not much video game experience before that. It was so exciting and mysterious. Leveling up my Blastoise till I could two-shot Lorelei's Dugong with Hydro Pump because starters are more important than type advantage. The Last of Us. That game actually made me experience emotions that movies have a difficult time bringing out of me. Breath of the Wild. Being terrified of Lionel's, Guardians, Hyrule Castle, etc. Seeing the dragons for the first time. King Rome's unmasking. So many experiences that I'll never have again. The preparation and journey to Zora's domain was so damn good. It was the first beast I decided to go for and the whole thing was so epic. Red Dead Redemption 2. The many miles we walk. This game was heartbreaking to finish. Minecraft. Yeah but like before, from the age of fixed sized worlds and barely any features all the way. Through. I remember crafting and placing my first doors to protect my mountain hole from zombies. And the opening and closing the monsieur that was the shit. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. KOTOR, KOTOR 2, and then Jade Empire. That's when I learned about game engines. Fallout New Vegas. I keep hearing this is the best Fallout game made. Ocarina of Time. When I was a kid it made my brain explode, and it still holds up so well today. Listen, Horizon Zero Dawn, went in with zero knowledge and expectations and it became one of my favorites of all time. I hit about 10 hours today, looked up how long to beat, found tons of posts from people saying they're over 200 hours. I am set for the rest of my social isolation. The first Bioshock, every time dude. Wii Sports. Absolutely thrilling using a controller that required physical movement for the first time. Felt like I was living in the future. Witcher 3 for sure. I am currently playing The Witcher for the first time and let me tell you it has quickly become one of my favorite games ever. The Stanley Parable Man that game makes you want to discover every single ending. Stardew Valley. Fully agree. I still love the game and play it regularly but nothing beats your first playthrough when you discover the secrets of the valley, get to know people and really explore the Mass Effect trilogy but specifically the first in the series. The gameplay was it and the storyline was incredible. The mix of the two is something that I've rarely seen in a first-person shooter game. Mass Effect 2 with the DLCS was the top one for me. The whole trilogy was superb though. Undertale, because I never did. The story was spoiled to me from the beginning. Don't make the same mistake and get Delta Rune spoiled when it comes out. Breath of the Wild. What I would give to exit the Shrine of Resurrection without any knowledge of the game again. Can't wait for the second one. In the early 2000s, as a middle school kid, Kingdom Hearts was the best video game experience ever. Subnautica, that game is the only game that is good once the next time is just sorta a Morrowind. Stepping off the boat and going exploring into this amazing world was incredible the first time. You've only just arrived but our records don't show from where. Half-Life 2. World of Warcraft. I will never ever forget my first night, playing the game. Gave in to peer pressure from a friend and started a human warrior since I had no idea what my friend played and just wanted to get a feel for the game. 14 hours my first day playing and the next day when I saw him at work he gave me his information. And I was able to start a new orc warrior on his server. Joined to his guild who are still some of the best people I've ever met in game and played 12 hours. The following night, this was during the beginning BC when leveling was still a bit slow. 
but they had three people plus my friend in a group with me gearing me up and teaching me a ton. I still try to play off and on, but life gets in the way. Persona 5 That game is very dependent on you experiencing the story for the first time blind. That being said, the experience gets lost when you know what to expect. Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross There is some magic in those games. Super Mario 64 Chrono Trigger Life is Strange The Last of Us Detroit Become Human Halo 3 Alan Wake Assassin's Creed Specifically Black Flag for me. Like most people I consider it some of the most fun I've had in the series so far. And what hooked me was the exploration in characters and heart on the first playthrough. I've recently tried to go back and play it from the start and the bugs. Tailing missions, bad combat, loosest parkour system in the series, modern day walking sim, all the things that I was able to look beyond as I was engrossed with the exploration or characters. Just took over the experience on a repeat. So much that I couldn't keep playing past the first visit to Havana. I didn't have those problems revisiting the Ezio trilogy or Unity and Syndicate. Diablo 2 Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Life is strange. Yes, I decided I would pick up the first chapter just because it was free and now I can't listen to the soundtrack without being overwhelmed with hard to describe feelings. RuneScape even though they brought back old school thing have become too much about being the most efficient compared to the old days. I miss people walking around with maces and chain vadas because they don't know better. Skyrim, Bloodborne, nothing like your first night in the city of Yarna Monsieur back when that mob in the town square was terrifying, and the wolf-like beast seemed impossible. Assassin's Creed 2. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. That game completely defined me as an early teen. Yes I know the remaster is coming and I am pumped. Final Fantasy X, I was going to post the same exact game. Absolutely blew me away, I still replay it to this day. Pokemon Diamond without knowing anything about Pokemon. So that I can fully enjoy this adventure again. Resident Evil 4, when I first played it, I was 6 years old. I couldn't get to the village without removing the game disc for fear. Today is my favorite game and I do speed runs. My record is 150. Doki Doki Literature Club, nothing like crying for 3 hours. I want to agree, it is amazing, it is a great bait and switch. But the real fun comes from trying to figure out how to W in. My first efforts were of course acting to avoid the death at all costs which were of course in vain. Then looking at the game files and noticing that they are constantly changing, well fine too can. Play it this way, er, asterisk, 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 I guess I can't because manipulating them yourself has no affect or instantly ends the game for trying to cheat. Wait certain scenes seem to be out of place. Fine, the saved games have to be used for something other than the single time you go to reload and realize you can't. Spoiler alert this is actually the route to win. You have to manipulate the saved games in order to make all three routes play out simultaneously. Pong. That shit was lit. Yeah, it's so intense. Vice City. Tommy Versetti was and shall always be the best GTA protagonist. Final Fantasy 7. Would love to re-experience the sense of I felt when seeing the first Colossus in Shadow of Colossus followed by the sense of longing I got when I brought him down. Longing's a good word. I loved that game so much but eventually stopped playing as I couldn't bring myself to keep slaying. Those magnificent colossi felt kinda dumb about that, and often wondered if I was the only person who was that sentimental. I guess it helped that the game was a few years old by then and cheapish. Reminds me of the video of the kid with the Spider-Man pinata who instead drops his stick and hugs. It. Hope he still got his candy. I, however, definitely missed out on Tilda 5 16ths of an awesome game. Ha. Just realized that in this case I could have a completely fresh experience. And a more satisfying one. Play the intro then quit.
Little fist pump. Whispers. I did it my way. How have I not seen Hollow Knight? Drop like 50 hours and it kept me coming back for more and more. Great atmosphere and loved finding new areas. Bosses. Really anything. Such a great time. Spider-Man PS4. Or at least feel the excitement I did when it came out. Baldur's Gate. Super Mario World blew me away when I first played it back in the early 90s. Far Cry 3. The Last of Us. Fallout. All of them. The Witcher 3. Absolutely amazing game. I think Terraria or Persona 5 would be way up there. Both were great games that I played for 150 plus hours and took over my life. Good times. For Terraria, there's a final big update coming on 16th this month. If you haven't played in a while, there's tons of new stuff to do and get. Outer Wilds. It's a game you can really only play once, sadly. I came here for this. What I would give to do another play though. Ugh, so good. GTA 5. Played the heck out of it and now can't play it for more than few minutes. I grew tired of it. But I still love it. First three games of Sly Cooper. That game was my shit when I was in middle school. Uncharted 2. Yeah, that was a good one. That title screen though. The Legend of Zelda. The Wind Waker. Bought this game when I was about 10 never having played a Zelda game. It quickly became my favorite game of all time and I still play it every couple of years. Breath of the Wild. Username checks out. The Legend of Zelda. First game I bought after buying my NES after mowing lawns for money all summer. Final Fantasy VI. With all the sequel and remake love for gut, I'm surprised we haven't seen anything for VI. Minecraft because all I want to see again is a village that was fully buried underground. And beginning the tutorial, my first zombie scared the hell out of me when I was 9. It was just the most amazing experience. That's all I want to see again. That's what got me into the game. Also, whenever I find a village I think please let there be a house buried. It also got me into the game Night 999 series. Halo CE. Halo. My god. I would love to experience the flood again for the first time with the most eeriest music. Getting chills down my spine. While I look behind me every so often to make sure they weren't following me or behind me. The story was good too. First game that comes to mind. Earthbound. I love everything about that quirky RPG. Everything about it was just fun. Sometimes you fought crows. Sometimes piles of barf. You called your dad to save the game. Your character, Ness, could get homesick. And the ending. There's something about exploring and beating a game like that the first time you just can't get back. Love all the people who said SNES RPGs but this is by far my favorite. Such a fantastic game. It was truly too unique for its time. The music was fantastic, too. I adored it then and every replay I still adore it. Dying Light. Titanfall 2. Super Mario Sunshine. Xenogears. It was so innovative. Had such a great story and battle system as your. I'd love to play again for the first time as a remake. But done right without adding a bunch of crap that isn't needed. Like they do with most of them nowadays. One exception. Make the second half actually playable and don't screw over the dev team. World of Warcraft. Super Metroid. Beat Saber. Life is strange. That game was an experience I wish I could forget and replay over and over. Absolutely this one. How does the second game compare to the first? I haven't tried it yet. Just finished it the other week. I had a real good time. First one holds a special place for me. But the second does hold its own. Terraria. I was looking to see if someone else commented this. 1.4. The last big content update. Comes out this weekend. I already have a group. Some family plus one friend. Ready to play once a couple QOL mods get updated for compatibility. If I could play as if it were my first time with the game. I would. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, definitely, best game ever, Republic Commando, Titanfall 2, Halo Combat Evolved, 
Days gone. Sped through that one now at the start of Corona. Dongan Rampa, trigger happy havoc, I had the entire game spoiled for me and I was big sad. That's a shame, they really are the best when you know nothing about them going in. Check out Dangan Ron 2 or V3 though for sure. Even if you're familiar with the game and somewhat formula of them. They're still really good. Yeah I finished Trigger Happy Havoc and V2 but not V3 yet but I got spoilers for all the games. When it comes to Dangan Ron but the internet is a bad place. I watched the Trigger Happy Havoc anime since I didn't really want to play the game. And someone spoiled something at the end for me while I was in the middle of it. Watching the anime and trying to figure out who the killers are is amazing the first time. I'm trying so hard to not see any spoilers for V2 and V3. Also I'm sad that there's no anime for them. Wait where do you watch the anime? I searched the internet for it for so long and I can't find anything. Well, Funimation should have it because they dubbed it check there. Not sure if they have both sub and dub but the English version is really good anyway. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.